morning, welcome to another episode of Toby's Barbecue Corner. Now what do you do if you have loads of people over and you only have a Weber Q1200? Well, you buy the 3200. So, today is our unboxing video. I hope you'll enjoy it. And there it is guys, the Weber Q3200 Titanium. So we're going to start unboxing in a second and we're going to be using the table for all the small stuff that we need and then we'll see what else we need in terms of tools. Without much further ado, let's cut this open. And as you could expect from Weber, it's obviously all nicely packaged up. And let me tell you guys, the 1200 is obviously a significant difference. Let's see how we can get this out. <laughs> um, a significant size difference than what the 1200 is. There we go. All these, you know, packaging things let's see if I can actually lift that out myself or if I need help already nope so far so good and look at the size of the sink make sure that you have nothing left inside but this one should be empty and then ugh, based on the weight these are the grow grates and obviously they are cast iron what else would you expect and then there's nothing left in it so clean as you go <laughs> Let's get rid of the additional packaging. So, I'm gonna have to hold this open for a little while longer, but in here you have the extension grate, lovely stainless steel. Then you have obviously all the other accoutrements, the drip tray, um, then obviously your manual as well as the registration, so very important. The knobs as well as the handle, the side tables. And then we're already on the bottom of this and the way, uh, the reason why I like this is because it has two independent uh, hot zones or burner zones. Um, and I think it's very versatile. And then let's open up the second big box. And it's everything we need for the base. So. You have your side legs, you have your front cover, you have your side panels as well, the wheels, etc, etc. The covers, obviously. And the grate that goes on the bottom of it. So, we're gonna assemble.
All right, it took about an hour to build. I had some challenges in between, but I really like this barbecue. It's the biggest one of the Q-Series. It has actually some nice features. So it comes with this grill light that turns on when you actually lift the lid. Sorry, you can't see that now. So let me just uh, do that for you. <laughs> so it comes with this grill light. It turns on when you actually um, open the lid. It also comes with this um, extended rack, but you know, if you, if you can see, there's a significantly more space on this than on the Q1200. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to attach a gas bottle, we're gonna burn all of these production oils, etc., off, and then we can barbecue. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the unboxing of the Weber Q3200. Now, let me tell you guys, it was boiling hot outside. I guess you could tell from the t-shirt I was wearing, but uh, it was well worth it. The party was uh, a great success. So all in all, uh, I can only recommend the Weber Q3200. All right, if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. Please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Toby's Barbecue Corner.